Hey guys, this is Lil with another raid video. Today we are joined on the channel by Nubs. Nubcakes yeah, from Nub Raids. Really. There we go. <laughs> Nub Raids <laughs> is the important one, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's Nub's great. Star Rail, if any weebs are out there. Play some on Star Rail. There we go. <laughs> I used to love, and I was saying to you earlier, I used to love those Mac Chan videos of like, here's the like arena support tier list at the moment, you know, and then I would go through that and I'd be like, right, who have I got? Who's my best? You know, like, uh, who should I be using that I'm not? That's just totally gone, uh, gone under the radar for me. Um, so... I looked for one recently, and the one that I found was Cruzen, who you did a collab with, with Big Papa mm -hmm. Drock recently, on Arena. Um, yep. <laughs> and he'd made a live Arena tier list with a, with a whole host of champs on there, including ones that, you know, we wouldn't typically think of as Arena champs. Um, but, of course, he is, like, super endgame, like, top of, yep. <laughs> top of Arena. So, what yeah, I thought... Yeah, like Cruzen literally drives... The number one, literally number one account, Doc Moreau yeah. in Live Arena. That he plays that a lot. So, yeah, <laughs> it's about as end game as you can get. <laughs> yeah. So what I wanted to do was take that, take his you know big Live Arena list and break it down a little bit into more of a general Arena list, a uh, bit more for the everyman uh, than uh, than just for the super super duper end game guys. Um, so this is this is spoil. Go and watch his video, guys. I've linked it down in the description below. But spoilers. <laughs> this is his tier list, and it, and it's covering everything. So it's it's damage, it's damage and support champs uh, into you know a whole host of different um, a whole host of different categories. And it's a it's a pretty long video. It's like a forty five minute video uh, of him, you know, going through all of those champs, you know, including ones that he thinks are just PVE, uh, and ones mm -hmm. that he thinks just aren't useful at all and should go in the vault. So, what I thought would be good fun would be to break this down, and for us to go through and look at. Okay, if we step that back to be a bit more accessible. Uh, you know, not super, not super duper end game for the for the for the Krakens, uh, mm -hmm. and make it more general for arena because we all need way more champs built with siege. Uh, yep. Have you found that? Have you had to build lots of new lots of new champs for for farming mana shrines? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, the thing that's been really striking to me is the weird champions like whip out for mana shrines <laughs> that you know before <laughs> sitting, I'd never have thought to use or how often they get used like uh i end up relying on hp nukers a lot i've got pretty good hp nuker gear they'll be like okay narcis is used up swap that gear to arix all right arix is up oh uh, wow do you do gears do you gear swap them sometimes yeah wow. i do <laughs> i try to save now one of the the tokens from cursed city that gives you the one hour free gear changing because for hydra right you know where i do some gear swaps now as well the Hydra fights, if you're tryharding, go above an hour usually. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, I can swap the gear for free, but I can't take it back off for free. Yeah. Whereas for these mana shrines, I tend to bang out the battles in. I record them. Usually it takes about 30, 40 minutes. Probably about 40 minutes, 45 actually. Uh, so I can fit everything into the one free gear change token, which saves a lot of silver. Um, and that opens up a lot of champions as well, because one of the big a downsides right is you, you only have so much really good gear um so just you know if you don't swap gear uh, you're going to be very limited in sense like how many attack nukers can you really build well enough to use maybe only two or three and like that's even super end game it's it's tough uh so being able to swap gear suddenly opens up massive opportunities if you have the silver or the tokens to do so, of course. Yeah, it's, I do you know. I'd never thought about it. I just thought about yeah. building multiples, like, you know. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I'll have to have a think about that. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Like, my, the difference between my top gear and my second best gear even is it's monumental at the moment. Like, it's it makes a huge difference. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> So I was just having a look at, uh, like, just farming mana shrines. You've got yes. it, each mana shrine needs six, uh, six teams. So that's 24 champs built. You can use mm -hmm. each champ twice, and there are two mana shrines. So I guess that's, if we just looked at one mana shrine, that's 24 champs, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's a ton. It is a ton. 
And I, I'd even say to people as well, you don't need to win every fight and every mana shrine. Like even taking down a few can be pretty good. And I do think right now as well, the rewards honestly are terrible for doing yeah, mana shrine yeah. more for fun. Uh, but who knows what will happen in the future because clearly Siege needs a few little, little tiny <laughs> tweaks in terms of its design. Yeah. So uh, maybe the mana shrines become way more important in the future. So it is, I think, really important to yeah be aware of of like yeah who are your best options uh i have taken my initial stab at this so i've had a bit more time to look at this than you have so apologies um i looked at where cruisins was and then i saw i jiggled it around a little for my preference uh Mm -hmm. so maybe we'll have a look at uh how you feel about those i would say yeah yeah interesting i mean i i do see a few things i change already oh really interesting yeah 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 okay um, let's let's I go think, then let's do it yeah St- top to bottom top to bottom i mean secret <laughs> yeah. sick yeah. no yeah he belongs <laughs> obviously number one he's disgusting um <laughs> taras yeah. taras narcis yeah i i put them in s plus as well and harima i think they, they all belong at the top 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 like they're so I'm trying to remember. good i think yeah see cruisen had narcis in in mm-hmm. like the tier down from from Taras, it's interesting. I own both. My Taras is six star. Right. My Narcissus is only five star, but I probably use the Narcissus more. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, and especially for mana shrines, there are a bunch of champions. So many champions that Narcissus just straight up hard counters. Like Necret the Great's a classic one. Yeah. Um, Often you, I find at least with the mana shrines, I don't have enough uses of Narcis. <laughs> yeah, uh, be happy. You'd want more, is what I find. But yeah, he's like, you know, if he doesn't hard counter, uh, if they don't have shields or strength, then he's obviously not as good. But I think he hard counters very two very common buffs so much that uh, for me, there's no question he's uh, S plus. Yeah, I think his A3 as well, like that block it's, revive yeah. as soon as they've got three buffs and then an extra mm-hmm. turn. Is... Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Gee, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and especially if you're making this for like players in general, then yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think he has to be S plus. I think Harima is a no brainer. I mean, her passive yep. is just so strong. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, now, exactly. If they're relying on ignore defense, it's like, yeah. Which, you know, every single one of those S tier nukas is, basically. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now you own a few of the next tier down. Uh, I do. That I don't. So, ah. <laughs> uh, Lazarius. I would I would probably be putting Lazarius as S+. Plus, yeah. I think. I would say so. I'll go with um, that because his form one, like the support form, is also super good for him, right? Yeah, that's right. So, I, I think some people do build him as, like, for form one. Like, they build him like an Arbiter or something like that, uh, which I have not tried out. I build him for form two. Um, and like he's a beast in that, but it's that flexibility, and yeah, he's just so unbelievable. He's really, really, really strong. Uh, he's got brings lockout as well with the form too. Uh, his main weakness, I'd say, is he does struggle against like force affinity champs. He, yeah. he can't kill them, and against Harima, it's difficult to trigger the passive. But no, I, I I'd be putting him in S plus for sure for now. And I think again for most people, like come on, he's he's next level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Rota. Do you have a Rotus yourself? I have a six-star Rotus. He is one Ooh. of my favorite arena champs, yeah. Nice, uh, yeah. I, I would I have, not be putting him in S+. Plus. I think uh, S is no. probably appropriate. Yeah, I think he's, you know, and I think Cruzen might have had him in Situational. No, he didn't. He did have him in, in SS. Uh, yeah. I mean, he is countered, like the UDK, yeah. the Arbeus. Uh, Harima. The Harima, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh Again, like the Harima, you know, you've got to you've got to know your Rotus because there's no point in using your A3. Just use your A2 first because that doesn't rely on the ignore the ignore defense. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think um, with Rotus, I'm he, he. I think S is appropriate because like what I will do, I'll sit down and look at the mana shrines, and often a good strategy is to go, okay, which one can I attack with my Rotus because he is so hard countered by some of those common defenses. But yeah. when he's not hard countered. Uh, he's ridiculously powerful. <laughs> he's yeah. so good, and he can win and fight solo, basically. So it's kind of like picking your fights, and there will be some of the mana shrines. Usually, there'll be some where you can bring him in, and he's going to win the fight for you. 
Uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be putting him in S. Wukong. Well, I think Wukong belongs there as well. I don't yeah. Know, do you disagree? Yeah. No, I don't. Like, I don't use Wukong on my main account that much, apart from now that Siege has come out. Uh, but on my free-to-play account, he's my main nuker. Like, uh, so yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it's just also so versatile. That block buffs is just so useful. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I mean, he obviously, you know, the block buffs, he can struggle against Polymorph. Um, yeah. But, you know, you can see when you're attacking Mana Shrines, they have lots of Polymorph. Okay, I can't use that. Or, you know, he struggles against Block Revive. But again, whereas that can be a problem in Live Arena. You know, y you should, you kind of know when you're attacking a Mana Shrine yeah. defense if they've got Block Revive or not. So, exactly. you know, again, you're good there. Um, and this is obviously a, a nuker tier list. You you can always re-gear your Wukong if you want for a Mana Shrine fight into a support build, and that can be really viable as well. It's like, yeah, you don't see a lot of support Wukongs anymore, but yeah, that used no, to be the don't. play. That used to be the you know the standard yeah. build for him. Yeah, but he's very flexible, but I think he's ass. Um, now this is one I I actually think Gizmak should be higher. <laughs> do you? Okay, yeah, interesting. Go on, make, make your case because like okay. I've played against him, but I don't have mm. him. And so I know, you know, I know what he does, uh, yeah. but I feel like I tell you, the reason that I find him a bit situational is because if he polymorphs himself, he's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I mean, that's though you one could thing say I the same about Taras because Taras will place yeah. that fear on people and polymorph himself. That's true. I think with Gizmak, I mean, you can do pinpoint now, and that is a bit of a game yeah, changer. Yeah, that's true. Um, so but the big thing with him is he just destroys stone skin. And again, unless they, the only real counter to him, like you said, is polymorph. And you can do pinpoint against that, uh, especially if they're not fast and you'd be out running the stone skin anyway. Um, you could do pinpoint instead, which is super powerful. He destroys stone skin. And I think he's got the really nice setup for a mythical where it's the support form one, nuker form two. Yeah. I mean, he does the burn in form one just automatically anyway at the start of the fight. And you can't stop that apart from, well, I guess four piece feral, four piece immunity. But that's been pretty uncommon in my experience. Not many people running four piece stone skin, four piece pseudo, whatever immunity set. Yeah. Um, I think he's a beast. Like he's so scary. Does right? he does he stay at the top of S or does he go into S plus? I would I in my opinion he's S plus. Like, okay. I think he's OP. For mana shrines, I think so. Like I think Ismac is really scary. I think he's only benefiting from pinpoints and feral and that sort of stuff. Mm, just making him only, stronger. That only makes him stronger, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And he's very tanky as well, which is, again, I think very useful in a damage dealer. All right, the next mythical, Alardens? Alaz? Alaz. Alaz, yeah. there we go. The, I found I don't know why. The mythicals just, like, <laughs> just they right. go out of my head. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> Now, I think he's an interesting, because he's like the sort of, a bit like Helicath, you know, he's a protector and damage dealer. Um, yeah. Would you say S plus? I think he's S plus, yeah, I would say. I, I think he has the difference where his form two is genuinely not that useful, but his form one is so busted. Like massive damage, block damage to your team, counterattack, you can provoke, like, if you need... Very, very powerful. Like I'd be very, very scared of a last. So I think he's insanely good. Um, so yeah, I'd be putting him S plus myself. Um, like I, I think, for example, <laughs> him and Helicath on a tier together, in my opinion, is heresy. <laughs> I think he's so much better. Than, like if you said no, but you can have a Helicath or an Alaz. Like I'm taking Alaz 100 times out of 100. You know what I mean? Well, maybe, um, maybe Helicath's too high on this list. I, I think he is as well. That would be my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, decimating the S tier here. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing gonna, your whole list off. I'm going to leave him in S. I'm going to leave him at the top of S. Okay. Okay. Um, just because I know I fought him a few times and I didn't find him like okay. as scary as the champs in the top. <laughs> All right. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> uh, right. Let's talk about Helicath. He's like. Yeah. He doesn't get a lot of playtime now. Like back in the day before Wukong, mm -hmm. Helicath was a menace because <laughs> yeah. you build him for damage in stone skin, uh, you know, like four piece stone skin, four piece uh, savage, and he would just kill your whole team with A1s mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. all those counter attacks. I would say 
maybe he belongs this high for live arena, but maybe he comes a little bit further down for general arena. Yeah, I, I'd be I'd be putting him in the A probably, or yeah, A or B even. I don't know. I I'm not a huge Helicath lover. <laughs> like I, I think uh, other people like Helicath way more than I do. No, I think he's good. I, 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 I think it's his support is really strong. I'm not as convinced by his damage. It's it's now again for a mana shrine. If their team is vulnerable to Helicath, it can be great. Um, I think I definitely used mine on the mana shrines last <laughs> last siege. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I think A is pretty appropriate where he cool. can he can win you a fight. His damage isn't crazy, but I, I think the S tier champs are stronger for sure. Yeah. I feel like our S tier is now a bit lax, but... Uh, oh, yeah, maybe... well, we can promote George it. Easy. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> I'd be promoting George it. I think yeah, he I'd probably deserves a promotion, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is George it better than Wukong for general? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I agree. I think he's, he's, he's void, so no weak hits apart from reaction, but he gives you a counter to stone skin. Mm -hmm. He can he can wipe out a team now. There is the randomness, right? Sure, his passive coin flip. Is it proper yeah. or not? Yeah. Uh, but I think he'd be really strong. He can delete the Necret defenses as well. I, I think he's. I, think I he's feel a bit. Used. I feel a bit bad for him. I feel like he shouldn't be a coin flip. If I'm honest, I feel like it should be 100 percent or maybe like 80 percent. But ah, no, he's strong. No one, no one will thank me for <laughs> suggesting making a new cut strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ooh. Garol. Now, I, I have a Garol, as you know. Okay. I've mm -hmm. still managed to get zero blessing on her, even Ooh. even with the, even with the summon boost that's going on yeah, at the I moment. Know. I know that feeling. You're all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, th you think, Gar I, I, again, I'll do you know what? you here because I, I don't have a Garol. I genuinely, I genuinely don't use my Garol for Arena okay. ever. I use my okay. Leo more than I use Garol for Arena. Okay. But um, Leo higher then. If he's more useful, he's more useful. Simple as. They're I mean, very similar as well, aren't they? Yeah, I've got her built in, uh, in a Slayer, in a nine-piece Slayer. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's probably all right for Arena. I think my main problem with her is I don't run speed teams like yeah ever, and she's an attack <laughs> nuker. And if you don't go first, she's really squishy. So uh, you know, let's have a look. Yeah. yeah, you often see her comboed with like a Necrat or something like that. Uh, yeah, her A one is good and he protects her. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm fine. I'm fine with high A for her. Um, okay, I don't have her, uh, but I, I think she's not as scary as like I think those other mythicals higher up the tier list are just a lot scarier. Um, I mean, arguably she's quite similar to Wukong, but I think top of A seems fine. I'm not too pushed, and yeah. I would say I'm personally not that scared when I see a Garrel on defense. Like, yes, if she does yeah. pop off, gets multiple resets of the A1, it can be scary, but... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So she's, like, she's a scary one, but... The reason that I like Leo, and I know he's not... I, he's not particularly meta, but I still think he's pretty powerful. I think Cruzen had him lower, and I pulled him up, because I still really mm -hmm. like him. Uh, yeah, he had him in B tier. Yeah. Um, for me, he's still like after you know after, he's like my after Rotus my best attack nuker because mm -hmm. he's just got that passive where he gets unkillable and he can't yeah. be and he can't be CC'd. So like yeah, if you've got block buffs like Wukong, <laughs> he's not a fan <laughs> of Wukong. Don't run him into Wukong. Yeah. Or Lydia, but other than that, uh, you know he's he's a good reliable uh, attack based nuker void. Yeah, that's true. Again, like being void is is really nice because you don't have the weak hits. Yeah, I, I I'm fi I'm fine with putting him in A. Like I, I think he's he's good. He's solid. Yeah. Your your boy Frolny. Ooh, well, see, this one's in a weird one. Because he's going to change like next week. Change. I would say if I was to rate him pre-change, I'd be putting him <clears throat> low B. Oh Maybe. really? See, okay. Wow. I, I, I'm pretty underwhelmed by Frolny. I think his main usage is that he does counter Siegfried with his A2. Um, so I think that's probably why you would rate him higher for an endgame sort of thing. But I mm -hmm. think as a general champion, I think he's pretty B tier. And we'll see what happens with his... Hopefully yeah. his buff is crazy. What do you I mean, I'm... I'm I've got, you put him in S? What? Or you, that's, my I, that's my prediction for his buff. We'll see. I mean, you would hope so, right? You would hope so. Or at least high A. Um, yeah, but I, I'd be putting him B. I don't know if you disagree, but for me right now, I'd be putting him B tier. Um, yeah, 
occasionally one will blow you up, but otherwise yeah. you're probably just surviving through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't hit that hard. It's when his passive starts scaling, he goes crazy. Uh, yeah. So okay. good against switchy teams. I'll say that. Helicath we already talked about. Now, yeah. here's a champ that you have used way more than me. Mm. R- Ronda. Yeah, I, I I definitely put her A for sure. Arguably even S, I don't know. Like I think Ronda's actually super underrated. I think I think she is a bit underrated. I think her, her block mm. passives is a bit underrated. And so she's good. a great counter for, for Rotus. Yeah, brilliant against Rotus. And, and again, like you think about some of the nastiest defenses. So Polymorph is obviously a problem for her, but if they're not running six-star Polymorph, you know, a lot of the scary champs, they're not going to have Polymorph at all, like uh, mm-hmm. Mariska, for instance. But, like, she gives you a, a way to hard counter that, which I think is really valuable. Um, big single target damage. Get, she is squishy. That's a problem. Yeah. Really good with the Necret. Really good against Necret as well, because she can smash through the, the shield. But, um, yeah, if you don't have the support for her, she can be difficult to keep alive. Uh, but, yeah, I think... What, how did Cruisin rate her for Live Arena? I'm curious. Uh, he had a higher... He had her yeah. in S, S, top end of S. Well, he had her in tier three, which is, I think, where we've got her as well. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'd be rating her pretty high. Again, like for uh, uh, on defense, she's not as good, but like on offense, I think she's really strong. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and you know, this is it. We're thinking about people we might want to build out for Siege mm-hmm. for farming Wilder Shrine. So you can absolutely yeah. put her against that Rotus team. Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I, like, I'd be putting her up probably beside the Wukong, maybe. I don't know. Is that too much? Oh, really? Maybe, maybe. Wow. Like, and I think for most players, this is a champion everyone has and gives you a, a big way to counter some of those teams. Well, you know. say that, but she was a lot, She was a while ago now. How long ago was like, her yeah, guaranteed? Like, yeah, she was wild. a freebie from <laughs> over a year ago, wasn't she? Yeah, probably. I'll tell you. I, I think. I I'll think tell you what. I'll, a, I'll she's put her, better than Helicath. I'll like put her that. higher in A. Okay. Because I like Helicath more than her, and you like her okay. more than Helicath. Yeah. All right. Compromise. <laughs> the power of compromise. <laughs> um, Ragash. Have you used a lot of Ragash? Yes, I use a lot of Ragash. Um, she's just a good defensive nuker. Again, Polymorph is always a problem with Ragash, but if they don't have yeah. it, he hits really hard. He can destroy them with his A2 if he does land a decreased defense or stun. Uh, and he's very good against Harima, which is a big thing because the decreased defense and then you know, lowers her damage. He can kill her quite easily. He's spirit, which is nice. Again, the problem is those six-star polymorph Harimas. <laughs> yeah. That's an issue. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I'd i probably put him in, yeah, sort of, hey, yeah, I, I, I think he's real solid. Like, yeah, there's not that I, I agree. Yeah, good defense nuker, so. Yeah. I think he's a good one. I used him as my uh, mischief tank in Hydra for quite a while. Oh yes, yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an interesting tech, all right. Yeah, you're <laughs> I was I was really lacking mischief tanks, so it was like, mm-hmm. nope, this is it. You're coming in. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, the mythical whose name I can't remember because it's a mythical. Mesamel. Mesamel. There we go. Looper Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody uh, did suggest on one of my videos doing a drinking game where every time that I got a champ's name wrong. <laughs> That they would take a drink. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Mesomel, buff- she's getting buffed as well. I feel like when the Mythicals first came out, she was scary. And I feel yeah. like now she's a lot less scary. Yeah, agreed. She does, she, she's due the buff, like, let's say that. Should she be down in B tier at the moment? Um, I don't know. Like, she does have a very good block revive, which does give you a strong win condition. In, in some fights. I mean, like, if they're really tanky, she doesn't work. Uh, I don't know. I, I'd be thinking... I would probably be thinking more of the A tier, actually. Okay. Let's or, leave her where she is, then. Like, yeah. Like, if you go, if they've got a Wukong on defense or something like that, block revive, done. Job done. Or if they've got Georgia, like, any squishy one, any squishy champ, she can block revive. And that can just win you the fight straight away. Yeah. And I think she's... Definitely, I'm hoping after her nerf, she, or, sorry, after her nerf, her buff, <laughs> <laughs> they're nerfing yeah, her. You so hope after, not enough. <laughs> after her buff, um, I mean, we'll see how Archie hits, but she could be crazy good. Like, after her buff, she could be, I don't think she'll be S plus at all. I think they're too universal, but she might be S. It might be like, maybe. 
we'll see. But I'll be putting her in low A for now as a we're sort of where she is, I guess. I don't mm. know how you feel about her though. Yeah, uh I mean I possibly drop her down to B. Um yeah. it's understandable, yeah. But I'm sort of given that she's about to get buffed, maybe we'll leave her where she is. Uh hoping yeah. that her buff might justify her her position in a yeah I, like i said i think a, a big buff could push her beyond that like if mm. she could just delete someone and block revive oh yeah block, yeah it depends how big the buff is of course yeah we'll find out but uh yeah Toshiro. Toshiro. i actually knew this one because i looked him up because i was like what does he do for arena i only know him for hydra yeah i know i i don't know what does he do in arena i've never seen anyone use him in arena genuinely he just does damage <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he brings decrease decreased defense. Uh all right. Yeah. Uh not about that. Not a huge amount. Uh let me just double no, check his. He seems like he dropped down a couple of tiers, I would think. I mean you're yeah. gonna have him in because he's Toshiro, right? He's the best damage dealer for Hydra after Trenda. You'd have him in nuts, nuts gear. I mean yeah. Geox arguably better, depending, but the two combo together extremely well, of course. But see, so you have him in crazy gear. That might help. But I, I be thinking he's probably more C tier. I don't know. I don't know. He needs yeah. to ramp up his damage, doesn't he? Doesn't I tell you what. Like let's drop him down to B. Sure. Yeah. Because he's just a pretty standard damage dealer. Like good damage dealer. Don't. But yeah. he's not bringing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Carnage. I feel like he's kind of in exactly the same spot, which is. He's just a decent damage dealer. Yeah, you don't get to use his aura in Siege, which is a bummer, because it's the best arena aura. Uh, I I do think Carnish is also a bit underrated. Um, Would you see him just, higher? Or you think just no, justified think, where he is? I, somewhere in A, I, I would think for Carnish. Now, I don't have him yet, so I haven't tested him, and my opinion will definitely change when I've tested him more myself. But I see a lot of my clan mates using Carnage. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Right, yeah. He That's does bring a pretty reliable block passives, uh, potentially even block active skills. He's again vulnerable to polymorph. He's very squishy. He does bring he, the stuff he brings is really good though. He brings block revive in form two. He brings high damage in both forms, more damage than some of these other champs for sure. Uh, I, I think he is kind of underrated. Um, yeah, I'd sort of forgotten about his uh, his block revive. Yeah. He does have block. You know, you need debuffs, of course, but again, pinpoint, etc. can help with that a bit mm. for your team. So, I don't know. I, yeah. I think probably low A feels about right, but open to correction on Carnage. No, uh, it's, inter it's interesting. I've only seen a few people using him, and I, you know, yeah. the feedback that I've heard is okay, but kind of built for yeah. the, the last meta, not the current meta. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I mean, blow them aren't that insane. I think so. We we'll might, uh, we bearing might, yeah, bearing might bearing time in mind, we might have to go faster through B tier. Oh yeah, Let's <laughs> speed it up. I'm ready. Let's go. Tormen. Ooh, yeah, mm, yeah. Top B or low A would be my vibe as well. He yeah. really hard counters. Like, and I've run into a few of these just speed teams with no stone skin, and it's like, okay, well, you're dead. Yeah. Uh, but like and, against and our mons. Armands, yeah, good against Armands as well. Yeah, so he's he's got that. Yeah. His damage isn't insane, but it's decent. He's got a good passive. I don't know. Do you think I've you got think mine they... in nine piece Slayer? Ooh. And he's six Ooh. star. Oh, uh, he's he's, beast mode. he's pretty good. Uh, again, if if it was if my OBS mm -hmm. was be behaving, I would uh, I would bring it up, but it's not. So uh... <laughs> yeah, I think Tormund. We could we could put him in A I, low A for now. I think I think. B is I, good. I think he, will, uh, he might fall off a bit as players, if players put more time into the new Hydra class chest and they start getting more stone skin access. Yeah, he's, he's got so many counters skin. that I feel like B is yeah. a good spot for him. I, I could see him falling off in future, but mm. for now, low A, top he's, B. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, Queen Eva. Queen Eva. I have her and have never built or used her even after her buff. So, yeah, which is why for me, like, I know she's good. I hear she's good, but mm -hmm. I've never got around to building her, so she probably doesn't qualify to be higher than B. Yeah, I think that's fair. I, I think definitely a tier below Mesomel is probably going to make sense. I don't know how their damage compares now, but I'm assuming after Mesomel's buff, 
Mesamel should basically be better Queen Eva. Mm-hmm. Hedgy, yeah, seeing seeing a resurgence as the speed meta comes back. Yes. Uh, yeah, Cruzen had him in situational picks in A tier. That's where I would put him as well. Um, the, for me, it's the definition of situational. Yeah. It's also a weird one where he doesn't quite fit in either the damage or the support. Yeah, I, I have him I in know. both, actually. Yeah, I, I left him in both, yeah. I, I think I think he's the definition of situational. Like, yeah. they're in stone skin. <laughs> he's rubbish. Yeah. But that's sort of the thing with Siege. You know, you talk to your clan and they're like, oh, this man is trying. Whatever. They don't have any stone skin or very few. Then Hedgie's like, yeah, great. But yeah, exactly. If got stone skin, totally useless. Kind of, um, yeah, kind of the same with Tormund. Is yeah, you know, like if yeah, if well, nobody's in stone skin, then great. Than Hedgie, a, a, yeah. A Tormund retains his usefulness. Hedgie mod yeah. is like, yeah, that's all I got. So it's all I got. so hard countered. Yeah. I, 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 he's C tier for sure. Demote, demote the man. Oh, okay. like, oh, wow, me. he's getting demoted. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Situational. I mean, it's not a demotion. It's, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, because I, I, yeah, I renamed the tier because I felt like C was more situational. Yeah, yeah. We're putting him in his right place. It's only, it's fair. Uh, Baron. Baron. He's a good nuker. He's good. Yeah, he is good. <laughs> There's not a lot more to say about him than that. No. <laughs> Again, big old sky piercer. Yep. That's the job. Ignore shields. It's hard, simple. I think good is appropriate for Baron. I forget yeah. this guy's name. Basilius. Roanus, yeah. yeah. Or Roanus, as his friends call him. I only know him as a Rotus counter. Yeah, pretty so much. So I yeah. think maybe he comes situational down to situational well. as well. I, I would agree. I would even yeah. go he's not as good as these guys. No, 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 no. I, I, I'd be putting him pretty low C, honestly. <laughs> Very situational. Go. More two. More two. God, he used to be everywhere like a couple of years ago, didn't he? And yeah. now he's just not. Oh. No, again, he is like, if their team is weak to more two, they've got lots of AoEs. They don't hit very hard. You need someone to lock revive nuke some. Yeah. Again, I think he's probably not as good as the Eva Mesomel options, probably. Yeah. He's definitely sit. There's no question he's situational, though. Like that sometimes you're like, oh, that team is weak to Mortu. Amazing. Yeah, that, that's brilliant. But, but then, also, you know, like, how often do you run a Mortu on offense? Well, that's what I'd only use him on offense. I oh, never really? Use him on oh, I only so, I only ever see him on defense in Stone Skin. Oh wow, yeah. Well, <laughs> bomb that boy. Yeah. Bomb him. Anethway. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Anethway, he's definitely good. I, I like Anethway. I have sev okay. several, and none of them are built. Ah, that, that's one to empower because, like, he if he again void block revive is useful. Uh, I think he's let better than Eva, but again, I check. could be wrong. I've got three of them. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, yeah, you could plus plus two of them at some point. I I could, but do you know what? I've never maybe siege is the time to build him. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, I, yeah, I. I I'm probably who, more scared of Anethway than Eva, but again, I might I might be wrong on that. That's what I was just about to ask you: is who who would you build between Eva and Anethway? I'd probably probably the Anethway. I'm just looking at multipliers now. She has the block revive. Uh, sorry, she's got the ignore defense built in, so she's mm -hmm. got a two point eight double hitter, but ignores fifty percent defense. Yeah, and he he's got a triple hitter, one point six. Damage increases equal to HP loss. So, like, he doesn't hit as hard, but he can block revive and everything and soul reap and stuff. Like now, his I, his interaction with soul reap is really cool because his is block cool. is on the passive. The right. soul reap can do the block revive. Yep. For that, I'm going to put him above Eva. Sure. Yeah. But let us know in the comments because I'm curious. <laughs> not use either one much. Uh, so, I'd be curious no. what people think that use them. But I'd be more scared of him. I know whenever I don't ban him in like live mm -hmm. arena, it'll always be a super high damage one and he'll just block revive <laughs> yeah, right. someone. Yeah. I, again, like if they've got a squishy team and Ethwave will wreck him, but he does quite rely on like a Necret. Several of these champs is a weakness. Mm. They rely on Necret. Somebody to, to protect them. Or maybe Freya. Well, I was going to say exactly that, Freya. You're right. You need lockout. You right. Uh, Carnage I, is the. Uh, is it Carnage? No, no, Carnage is the uh, other one, Calamitous. sorry. Calamitous is the only one we haven't touched on. Yikes. I'm not sure about him, honestly. 
uh, at all. No, I definitely think Brawny is is better. I think than both Tashiro and Calamitous. I'll say that right now. I remember this from Cruzen's video, and he pointed out that the only reason that he had put the mythicals here as high as they are, yeah. um, you know, the the, the carnage, the calamitous, the Tachiro, mm -hmm. Tachiro, uh, <laughs> is because he hadn't seen enough of them or tested them yet. So Fair. I feel like we probably know a bit more about them now. So what we're saying, calamitous goes into C tier or goes into D tier. I'd be putting him into if he's all if he's all you got. I'm putting him into D tier, like if it's all you got. But I don't think he's really an arena champion. And I'd be doing the same with Tashiro. I I think Tashiro is probably if it's all you got. It's like okay, you've got crazy gear on the dude, but he's not really supposed to be for arena. It's my mm. thoughts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair I'm, enough. I'll I don't, also I... say I'm expecting Frolny to jump up to A tier. Yeah. With his buff. I'm, 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 for your sake, I'm hoping he jumps up to S tier. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm expecting all of the mythicals being buffed to jump up a tier, at least. Yeah, yeah. We'll see, though. I mean, they should. They're being buffed. Maybe okay. I'm, I'm kind of happy that we're moving these around as well. I was worried we were just going to yeah. talk about them and they were all going to stay as they were. Nah. Uh, okay, C tier. Helicath. Uh, not Helicath, sorry. Uh, Hefrak. The other one. Sorry. Drink, yeah. drink uh, yeah. people. <laughs> people yeah, playing the game. He, he's like a, a good situational, isn't he? Yeah, I say he's definitely situational, but like he can just win you a fight, right? They Again, if they're vulnerable, they kill someone squishy on your team. Like you can speed farm stuff so fast. Like you can even put in like a, yep. a level one champion. They just kill it and he wipes their team, that sort of thing. Yeah. Pretty yeah. yeah. Uh, top of C seems good. Ooh, Romantu. Romantu. I got. As time goes by, I like Romantu more and more, I feel like. I've got yeah. mine in a in a kind of hybrid mm -hmm. damage one-turn stone skin build with, you he, know, a good sort of 400 accuracy. I feel like that's a really good... It he's is. He's good in some situations. He's one of those champs that you can build either way as well, isn't yeah. he? Um, yeah. I'd be, I'd be probably promoting him to low B, probably. It's fair. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, but... no, I'd probably agree, yeah. Romantu, he's always every siege. I've used him up. He's gone. Like, I'm like, yes, that's a great fight. Yeah, for I think last siege was the first time I was like, oh yeah, Romantu. <laughs> yeah, he's like, great. Yeah. <laughs> he's genuinely really good. Um, ooh, you now, know what? Ooh, go, you go. You go first. You go I was first. I was going to say you go because you've got him and I haven't. I do. <laughs> I would promote Fatalis to be. I'm saying it right now. I think Fatalis doesn't deserve the hate he gets. <laughs> so here's the thing. His damage, not particularly good. But it is often enough to win anyway. And he is very tanky. Right? He's kind of doing that protector role, isn't he? Like, I feel like he's keeping you in the fight for long enough that you can yeah. whittle them down. As opposed yeah. to wait for him to get a turn and he's going to kill everyone in one shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's not killing people in one. Unless they're a very squishy team. But like, he's just very good against lots of the damage dealers. So they just can't hurt him. <laughs> like he's, if you ever run him against a Neathway, hilarious. Unless it's a really strong Neathway. Like a Neathway is like, I can't break your shield. <laughs> um, it's funny. Uh, but no, I, I think he's beat. Like I genuinely do. I, I, I think Void Affinity, super tanky. Yeah, I think he's very, he, very solid. He's probably solid. the one. Because he's got such a unique kit, he's probably the the mm -hmm. the one of the monster champs that I was most annoyed at missing out on. But then I did get Archer, right. so you I got Archer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> not, she's definitely if, better overall. If I hadn't yeah. got her, then um... people people hate on Fatalis too much. I think that they're I think that the the, the usefulness of a tanky damage dealer is so generally useful that I think that puts it beyond situational. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, again, fair. he's a champion I, I find using a lot on the, the sieges. I'm going to do, I'm going to suggest exactly the same for Stoltus because yeah, I agree. think agree. he's a good damage dealer, good defensive based damage dealer. Yep. He's probably yep. one of the better. I'm trying to think, are yep. there any defense? We've got Harima here, we've got Helicath. Uh, yeah. And Alaz is Ragash. Better. Ragash. I, yeah. th I think he's at Tormin as well. I, I think B is, is, is pretty appropriate. Like, he's got two AoEs, gonna, which is I'm going to move him a bit further up the I, B I tier, though. I, 
yeah, he's self buffs increased defense, which is really useful. He's force affinity if you need that. Um, he's he's in a good spot. Like yeah, Staltus, he's just a good solid defense damage dealer. Yeah, good utility. Just yeah, very very solid. I yeah. agree. He's not, I feel like he's not doing much flashy, but he's just doing no, everything no. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, Quintus. Ooh. He's he's my last champ. He's my last like reward champ that I haven't got yet. So I need oh, to, I see, I see. I need yeah. to push more live arena for him. I've got mine. I ran mine in Hydra this week. Unfortunately, I have no soul for him. So his damage was uh, not. As good I, as I feel want. like he's not used in PvP at all, <laughs> or at least Very not that I see. Very rarely, yeah. Again, he's he's one of those. Where's my neck rep champs? Because he's got such a good A one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think. Does he go down to D? Hmm. Not sure. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's tough. Uh, how, how did our boy Cruzen put him? Who's got more experience? Cruzen had him in B tier. B. Okay. Yeah. All right. I... Good, good, but not the best. Yeah. Which I would say is kind of our C tier. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. a little situational. Yeah. Yeah, we can keep. That's just what I'm wondering is like, is he situational? Because situational is like, there's rare circumstances and they carry the fight, which is like Hegemon, more too. I don't know if Quintus has a situation where he thrives as as opposed to being well, just. I have decent. sorry, I'm I'm covering it, but I have uh, I have called this tier C slash situational, so it's okay slash situational. Okay, okay, oh so right, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Like, he's okay. yeah, he's okay. <laughs> not um, as not as good as good, and maybe they're only situational. Yeah, yeah, but he's he's yeah he's. That's one to, more remains to be seen for Quintus. Yeah. If you've got a big goal for him, it's like, okay, okay. Yeah. Candy poor yeah, poor you know. Candy. I feel bad for Candy. Um, yeah. Just such an OG champ. Very OG. Yeah. I feel like he's, he's very similar power level to Quintus. I feel like he should slash could have see a revive with as Armand's counter. Because That's true. Force speed boost, force affinity mm -hmm. gains the veil as soon as they speed boost or buff, uh, and then he yeah. can't be targeted. Yeah. That doesn't well, stop him from getting stunned, though, is the problem. We, we could arguably <laughs> promote both Quintus and Candy to B. I think that could be okay, because, you know, I do feel like they're probably on a pretty similar level to, like, Anithway and Eva and whatnot. They're just, like, they're good, decent damage dealers. Big A1s yeah. is useful. Good pass, like good passive on candy. Yeah, I, I, I think B is fine. I think that's okay. That makes me feel less, slightly less bad for candy. So let's do it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> if your heart tells you, then go for it. Right, we've got Ooh. a few sort of what I think are pretty standard. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a Turvold, but he hits like a truck on a single target. I would say yeah. exactly the it's same for Mountain great. King, who I do have. Yeah, hits like yep. a truck on a single target. Exactly. Yeah, I do have a Soulless. Uh, yeah, I don't use him in arena, but I did use him as a uh, mischief tank in Hydra. <laughs> right, yeah, who provokes on two skills? Yeah, Very nice. provoke he's on two skills and a debuff extend. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's really good for Hydra. What are his multipliers like? Um, like yeah, he's like he's just like one of those solid. Vo he's void as well, which is nice. Yeah, Damn, you pair him with a Siffy, and sometimes he'll just yeah. clap. He'll just clap you. Oh, he does have a 4.9. And he's got a buff good. strip. Yeah, he can strip buffs. He's, he's good, actually. Not not crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, he probably... He, does he go into B or, or C? He's probably... He's probably B. He's, he's, I don't know. I might run Torment or Staltus over him, though. What do you think? I'd probably run Torment or Staltus over him. Yeah, like, yeah. I've got him Let's and I don't, him I don't run him in arena. Maybe he's yeah, slightly okay. better than some of these other champs. Maybe he comes up towards the top end of, of C. Yeah, it's tricky. Again, he's one of those champs. He's, like, more generally useful than them, but then he doesn't have the, the peak. He doesn't shine yeah. as much as they do in there. So that's tough, yeah. Grazor, similar sort of deal. Yeah. Um, Errol? Not a big fan of Errol, to be honest. Again, it's just no, not worried. Forward. Not worried about him yeah. at all. I think maybe I'd he comes down to the, yeah, probably. 
Xena. Uh, situational, yeah. yeah. I see yeah, her a like, bit in live arena more than yeah. general arena. But... She's like the ooh, super squishy speed team with Seafy. Ha ha. Yeah. Give me my turn. I kill your Yumiko, whatever. Right. Enter against my team. Funny. We are <laughs> possibly on a super long video, so oh, apologies. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I just looked at how long we've been recording. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's e. zip through D as quick as possible. D is, if it's all you got, then use it. Yeah, there's some here out of promote already. Okay, do you want to... This... Let's go for your promotions. Okay, uh, for promotions, Marius, definitely. Where's he going? I... I was surprised because I think Cruzen might have even had him just not used at all. Really? Yeah. Okay. He has him as a PVE, maybe. Yeah, or he, or uh, Vault. I can't remember. Oh, there he is, yeah. PVE. PVE, yeah. I, I disagree on this. I think he's very useful, and I think especially, since this is more targeted at players in general, like, he, he hits really hard, he rips through Stone Skin, he counters Mythicals. I think he's great. I'd even put him in A, honestly. Ooh. I would. Okay. I, I, I'm pretty scared of Mario. I think Marius has got good potential. Again, he's also an Armand's counter, right? Can't yeah. be decreased turn meter and he counters attacks. Does he get stunned, though, or is he immune to stun? I think he's immune. Is he immune to stun? I don't know. Hold on, I can check. But I, have... I think he's pretty... I haven't got mine yet, but I'm excited. I got uh, him last no, week not. the same time as I got uh, Mikage, and I haven't built yeah. him yet because I'm still hoping to get the missing Slayer accessory that I need for him. <laughs> Right, he's not immune to stun. I I think Marius is pretty darn strong for players, though. Um, I, he would be a, a regular go-to. The me. enfeeble on the A1 is it's pretty nice. Yeah. Really good. And there's just a lot of champions he's very good against. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I'm happy I, with him in A. It makes me it makes me happier. Cool. Let's do it again. Again, neither of us have him yet. So right. So we'll we'll see if that might change in the future. Um. I would promote the bomb champs, just <laughs> all of them. Fair <laughs> enough. I'll, I'll put them the bottom of situational. Oh, as maybe that. we could leave Gaius as, if it's all you got. But the other ones definitely would go up. Gaius really struggles against stone skin. Because uh, he's two okay. turn bombs. And if yes. they're in stone skin, they can just cleanse it. Yeah. Whereas the others can do the one turn bombs and win. Um, and Shazar as well. Did I miss anyone? Oh, yeah. But we don't have Commodus in here either, who would also probably put an S+. Plus, oh, think. yeah, that's true. He's kind of busted. Again, he's that weird mix of support and also damage. Yeah, he's the um, HP bomb champ, right? Yeah, again, he's another champion I think really benefits from pinpoints in a big, yeah. big way for him. But I think he's kind of insane. I'd also probably be promoting Aphidus considering his incoming buff as a weird. He's also another one that's both damage and support. Oh, uh, was he down here Almost, somewhere? Sorry. He's hiding here. somewhere. There's Aphidus. I'm not sure how good he's going to be because, yeah, he's been. We'll wait and see what how his buff does. Yeah, I'm. I, I let's put him into C for now. I say he's probably going to be situational, right? Like damage dealer who can flip into actually free. He's actually if they don't have stone skin and like high resist, he's actually really good crowd control champ in a second form. But he does have counters. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's one to I. I'd be keeping my eye on. Um, let me see. Anyone right. else? I'd be moving. <laughs> Arik's up into okay as well. I think Arik's actually quite decent. I think she's kind of underrated. Where am um, I looking? Oh, geez. oh, do you think? There. Oh, I'm never, I, I'm never scared of an Arix, But I mean, one or two have clapped me over the over the years. But uh, yeah, I, I think she's good, and arguably Krutraxa as well. And then I'd probably be good with the list. I think. Yeah, opinion. I think I, 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 I demoted Krutraxa. He had her higher. Oh, Kru oh, had her B. Um, okay. And okay. I, I demoted That's her. Interesting, yeah. <laughs> got some interesting champs in the B tier, for sure. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I think that she just, again, she's situational, but she does have huge single target damage. Um, can be can be strong. Uh, I think Arix is just that constant AoE. Um, yeah. I think she's pretty underrated as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if... Uh, the other ones, I think, are... Uh, if that's tough, like, yeah. They can be nice, like... Supreme Elhane can be a counter to Necrat, maybe. Yeah. Um, Goffred, I don't like as a damage. No, I like him as I like him as a protector. Yeah, and like Valkyrie as protection. well. Yeah. 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 I think Ali they. Ilo, poor old Ilo needs a buff. They might <laughs> be on both uh, both tier lists. I can't remember. 
Yeah. You know, I, can we throw Mitch and Aki into if it's all you got as well? He's a champ, I think. A lot of people haven't built for damage for Hydra. He could actually be all right. Defense damage, too. People never use him for Arena. No, I never terrible. use mine. I know. They don't have Polymorph, right? He can actually be pretty good. And he's uh, probably got good gear on him. So it would be like, okay, yeah, I do have him built. I'll throw him in for this final fight I'm stuck on. It's actually really good. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. That's our tier list done. I'm going to leave the rest. I'm not going to go through all the detail. We'll be here for like another hour. <laughs> <laughs> no. awesome man as always it was great to have you on the channel uh everybody i'm sure you're already subbed to nubs but go and check out his channel go and post some comments help him out with those youtube algorithms and that's it for us for today Thanks for having me on as always it's been a blast and uh hopefully uh interesting and entertaining and perhaps even insightful for people who knows yeah and maybe we'll be back to do the support one another day yeah. We definitely don't have time to do both today. No, 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 no. You guys have watched you like, all right, we're good. Recharge for, for another day. Recharge. Yeah. Awesome, <laughs> man. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks Bye. all. Bye.